Hi, one of the most difficult parts about managing people is giving people constructive or negative feedback. In this video, I wanna share with you a real simple but powerful way that you can give constructive feedback so that you don't feel uncomfortable anymore and they walk away and see a change in behavior. One of the most difficult parts about managing people is giving them constructive or negative feedback. In this video, I wanna share with you about how you can take away the discomfort for you and take away the lack of clarity for them so that they'll walk away with a clear idea around what you want of them and they'll actually take some action. So one of the most challenging tasks about managing people is giving someone negative or constructive feedback. I was running a Feedback Essentials program for a company recently and we had a discussion around how there's really three challenges that managers have when they're giving feedback. And these three challenges or three mistakes are sometimes managers are too harsh. So they might, might say something like, you know, you're just not getting it right. Like, are you an idiot? I know that might seem extreme, but I've seen people do it, right? They're too harsh. Sometimes they're too soft. So they'll say, oh, would it be okay if you make a little bit more of an improvement in that area? And like, that's okay, but the, the hearer doesn't really walk away and get like the, the power of what they're saying. And sometimes they're just too vague. So um, the manager says, oh, can you make some improvements? Right, and that's what they leave them with. So those three big mistakes have a huge impact on the, the level of, um, I guess, impact that this feedback gives them. So there's three steps in giving someone constructive feedback. The first step is getting specific on the task that they got wrong or they you know, messed up on. So specifically what you'll say is, hey John, when you handed in that report to me the other day, it had a few spelling errors and it really didn't hit the target market that we were looking for. So you say specific tasks. The next thing, the second step, is you say how it made you feel. So you'll say something like, and that actually made me feel frustrated or it might be angry or whatever feeling you felt at the time, talk about how you made you feel. That will add significant power to your, to your constructive feedback. And the third bit is you reinforce the person. So you'll say something like, look, John, I know you're better than that. You know, you've got great skills, so why don't you go out and do it the way that you know, I know you can do. So you reinforce the person. So there's the three things, right? You go specific task, how it made you feel, and you reinforce the person. That means that they'll walk away and they'll be clear on what they got wrong. They will walk away and know that it was important and they'll take some action. I'll tell you what, I've done this with a few people who have worked for me before and it's seen massive improvement in their behavior. So go ahead and give that a go. So please like it and tweet it. And I've got a question for you. What is the most challenging part for you in giving constructive or negative feedback? I'd love to hear your comments below. Speak to you soon. The last one is, is it's, um, I stuff that so hard, is being specific about, oh, I looked over there at the thing. Awesome, the dog.